to add the ability of the code to take a decision as to whether the correct answer has been placed on the target that we've built. OK, so the highlighted yellow areas are the code that we used in the previous example. Basically, on press, start drag, on release, stop drag. What is new then are the two highlighted areas, the if and the else parts of the code. Basically, this is the question that we're asking of the code. If this, this being what we're dragging, it could be answer one, answer two, answer three, it doesn't matter. That is what is being dragged around the screen. If this lands, so dot underscore drop target lands on target one. So if this lands on target one, okay, which is obviously the one where we want it to go, we want it to go to and stop in frame two of the movie clip that is called answer one. I'll show you what that means in a minute. Otherwise, put answer one back at coordinate x317 and y265. And that are the coordinates of where the draggable item started. And that's what, so if I let it go anywhere on the screen other than on target one, it bounces back to that coordinate. So if we get it right, go to frame two of the movie clip called answer one. Otherwise, go to where you started. It's important to realize that this curly bracket down the bottom here is the closing bracket from this particular on release statement. Remember your brackets must always pair up. Before we add the code, let's look at this movie clip which is called answer one. Now remember in the code there is a part that makes you go from frame one to frame two if it's correct. Well if we go inside the movie clip by clicking on it you'll see what I've been up to. In frame one the text is white. In frame two the text is red and that is what the code is doing. It's moving the playhead from frame one to frame two. But I need to have a small bit of code in that movie clip which simply says stop otherwise it would flash white and red white and red all the time it's on the screen. So it's sitting there and it's waiting to be told to go red when it is correct. So that's the secret behind changing the colour of the movie clip. Now I'm just going to click on scene one to get us back back to that. Okay, let's remind ourselves what we're trying to achieve. This movie clip here is called Answer One. This movie clip here is called Target One. And these are the two that we want to bring together successfully in the code. If there is an unsuccessful connection, then we want 365 to jump back to its original position. With the movie clip answer one selected, we need to go inside where the code is stored. Now, this is the basic, again, the basic drop and drag code that we've used previously. But now we need to add more code so that it checks what is going on on releasing of the movie clip. OK, so the first line of code we need to add is the question. If this dot drop target equals equals speech marks forward slash target one speech marks close bracket we want it to do something so we need to open up an action and the action that we want is that this is the correct answer it's answer one has landed on target one that's good so then we want to go to the root of the main timeline so find an object 
on the main timeline the object we want to find is called answer1 and we want to go to and stop that at frame 2 of that particular movie clip of that particular movie clip and that is the end of that particular action we will add some more inside in a minute however clearly it may not be there so else open an action panel we want it then to return to its original location which is again on the timeline and it's this is the object we want to move back to dot underscore X. Now I have taken note of where it was positioned in its geometry and that was at 317 and I'm going to copy that and paste in the next coordinate which I'm going to call Y and the Y coordinate I happen to have noted <coughs> was 265 265 okay and we want to obviously put a curly bracket to end that particular event as well and I, I like to keep the brackets on their own lines I, I, it's something I like I like to do click the little tick the script contains no errors and we can give that a test in a moment okay well I tested it and I noticed I'd had a little bit of a typo I hadn't put the uh, the line here uh, the underscore line just after the dot and the drop target will be blue which is a good indication if it's black you know you've done something wrong and so now when we test the movie um, which I have tested whilst I pause the video I bring the 365 up and it turns red but notice as I said this is still uh, controllable and that is something that ideally you would want to uh, disable and that is something that I will show you how to do in the next video